Welcome to my beginner's guide to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royale. So, let me just download this little update that we've just got. This should be interesting. We'll go into what this game's all about. Now, if you've played PUBG or you've played Fortnite or you've played H1Z1, you'll know the basic concept, which is to um, survive until the end. The winner uh, in solo or duo or quads is the last person or the last squad standing. So first things first, um, click on that and then you can change duos to quads or solo or whatever you like. And then obviously you can go in and you could change your character, change your controls, all that sort of thing. So what happened is we're going to get dropped onto this map and uh, the circle will come in and staying outside the circle damages us and eventually will kill us then another circle will appear that will be somewhere else inside the, the, the blue will come in and we've got to stay within the other circle and then another circle will come in and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller forcing all the players together the circle location is random as is all of the loot and attachments we have to pick up when we dive in uh, from our helicopter using our wingsuit and our helicopter we won't have any weapons, attachments, armour or perks so that's what we're looking for the most important things are armor weapon ammo and a backpack now what happens in uh, in blackout is uh, you'll pick up a gun and you pick up the ammo and you can carry two guns at a time um, and basically you want to pick up all the ammo that we come across because you can carry I think it's 200 rounds of each type of ammo there isn't a limit to that you can only carry two guns and you want to be looking for like a high caliber gun enough smaller caliber guns so something like a 556 and a 762 that sort of thing and you want one with a iron sights or with like a hollow sight or an elo sight and one with a magnified sight now there, there are snipers and other guns around the map um, but don't really worry about them now now we'll also be picking up grenades and gadgets but the other one we really want to think about is perks you'll find these little boxes uh, scattered around and these will be things like dead silence or um, uh, there's other ones that, and that basically what they do is they enable you to um, be better at something for a short period of time so dead silence you equip that and for two minutes roughly two minutes you'll be very very quiet when you're running around other perks allow you to survive in the danger zone to survive in the blue inside the collapse other ones allow you to run faster while crouched uh, other ones protect you from explosions that sort of thing the ones you want to keep for the final circles are things like dead silence and awareness we want we want to keep those now the other thing is that you'll find med packs around we want to pick up lots of those first aid kits um, because we have an active first aid system so as you're injured you have to press and hold the left bumper and that will then um, heal you uh, up to 150 now if you find a trauma kit you can use that and that will boost your health up to 200 um, and I think we're pretty oh gadgets right so you'll find gadgets scattered around as well we've got things like remote control cars we've got things like grappling hooks we've got things like uh, shields like from Rainbow Six Siege that you can deploy so they're all things you can put out some of them you can pick up and use again like the remote control cars and the grappling hook that you can use a few times Th some things like the shield you put down and that's it Whew, right okay so that's the background let's get in now the first part we're going to be going into is the the lobby area now you can use this lobby uh, as an opportunity to run around and get used to the controls also you can pick up weapons and ammo and practice shooting at people because friendly fire is off well they're not friendlies are they and also if you bring up your map you can also decide maybe where you want to go so here we go so we're, we're jumping in now and you'll see if you as I say if you've played PUBG or you've played Fortnite or you've played H1Z1 the whole gameplay loop will be very familiar with you. Um, the main thing is compared to uh, PUBG uh, the circle is moving much much faster. This is like Sandhawk if you like. It's not like Miramar. Definitely not like Miramar and definitely not like um, Arango. So if we kind of run in here we can get used to the sliding and the jumping and picking up weapons. This is a place you want to come actually. This is the asylum. There's zombies in here. No, I shit you not. There is, there is zombies. Everybody's shooting each other. Oh, I can get a stock. Maybe we can go prone. Right, so let's bring up the map. So there's the route of the uh, helicopters. So we can 
so that's where we are so we can put a marker down deciding where we want to go now from the route of the plane using your wingsuit um, you can fly just about Blackout. anywhere we're gonna go if you, to start off with if you just want to get used to the game I would say think about going quite a long way away from the flight path um, the mission area. and that'll give you a chance to have a look around practice picking weapons up um, and generally get used to the game before we get into combat and then just start dropping hearts you know this is this is Call of Duty this is Black Ops Call of Duty um, and it plays just like that so get on the ground l listen out and start engaging people now I've talked about armour before the time to kill in uh, in Blackout is really long really long if people have got armour on you can use more than a, a clip right let's go you can use more than a clip now when you're diving down if you go and dive straight down to start off with then pull up that will then increase your speed you see how fast we can move across the map now if you press and hold the left trigger you can also have a look around see if anybody's with you and we're just going to kind of come down in this area let's have a quick look around okay so we can take our time now there are helicopters around the map there's um, quad bikes there's a truck okay so we've got armor so pick that up with the ammo we want to be picking up everything pick up Advise all the ammo because as I say it doesn't go against your inventory you just just pick it up and don't worry about it right iron lung so that's a perk so if we go into our inventory and um, we can either go use quick inventory on the d-pad or if we press uh, start options we can get that so iron lungs increases steady time on sniper and tactical rifles and breath time underwater you know is that something you'd really want I don't know maybe not um, so what we're really looking for now is a backpack okay, we've got a second gun all oh, right now we want to get rid of our pistol that's good what we got here? a mesh mine I've got no idea what that is <laughs> right where are us right so the circle is quite a long way away so let's put a marker down there just so we know where we're gonna go um, let's just have a quick look around to see if we can see any vehicles really do with the vehicle your field of view is quite small all right there's a there's a quad down there good so what we'll do we'll do this house and then we'll uh, get on down right there's a backpack great as soon as you've got a backpack your inventory goes up loads and carry loads of stuff circle collapse imminent get to safety Consumer. So, what does consumer do? Reduces use time of health and consumer license by 50%. You can use that once in the last three minutes. Iron lungs. Actually, we don't really want paranoia. That looks like an interesting one. Receive an audible alert when an enemy is targeting you while in ADS. Cluster grenade. Yep, love that. Frag. Can I have too many of those? Five five six is full, forty five. How close is the blue? Still quite a long way away. Level one armor. You do take fall damage in this game, so be careful jumping off. So our overall kind of tactic. be to play the edge so what that, that means is we really want to end up somewhere around here so what we'll do is if we go down this road here 
and then over the bridge there we will go. So here's our little quad. These are really weird to control. Speed is done with your um, left stick and steering is done with your right stick. They also can seem to have an infinite number of gears. They have infinite fuel as well, so that's good. You'll also find the big truck around. The big truck's really cool. Um, it can carry stuff in. Not so useful in solos, but in squads, the ability to uh, carry spare kit like rocket launchers, um, lots of spare ammo. Um, OK, so we're going past the asylum, so people from asylum might be coming out. Right. That there. Right, these are zombies. <laughs> this is a zombie place. Look at this. Oh, we're being fired at now by somebody. So the idea here... Where we, you probably... I don't know whether you saw or not, but there was a supply box I could have gone for there. <laughs> but somebody else came along. <laughs> started shooting at me. So the ideal thing to do there would have been to fight off the zombies, travel to indicated safe zone, and then pick up that, um, pick up what the goodies that are in that supply drop. It's like a super supply crate, so there'd have been a nice weapon in there, probably with all the attachments already on it. But with that other chap coming along, or the lady, we had to. Oop. We had to get out of there. It's tricky using the mini map when you're driving because you've got your fingers on your pad, got on your sticks, it zooms in automatically. I managed to burn a lot of my ammo against those uh, guys, didn't I? So you'll recognise some of these locations from... Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Now, you see that kind of pipeline at the edge of the map in front of us? That's the edge of the playable area. Right. Right, active health. So I have to pump the health to uh, get back to 150. This area, so we need more five five six. Oh, we've got meds. Sit rep, circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Looks like people might have already been in here. Can't see anything. Let's just sort my map out. Zoom out. Right, well, 
we're going to do. We're going to get into the circle now. And just kind of chill out a little bit. Because if we take a look at the circle, I'm, I could have to cross this river, but I don't know yet. So we've got 90 rounds of 45, 121 rounds of 556, which isn't loads. Sixth med pack. Net call. Supply drop incoming. With the time to kill, I'm gonna let that guy just kind of wait. Oh right, I see where he's going. He's going for that supply drop. Be advised, further collapse expected. Relocate to safe zone. Right, let's see where. We're right, we've got to cross the river. <sighs> so we're gonna cross the river, left of factory, aren't we? We've only got a minute. I say we just go. Remember, this game isn't about kills. Winning is about being. Supply drop inbound. The last one. And you only need one kill to do that. So anyway, hopefully this video has been useful, kind of showing you the basics, what you should be looking for um, in Black Ops 3 Blackout. Giving you the concept of playing the circle, playing the edge of the circle. Circle collapse imminent, get to safety. So what you saw there, in fact, let me just show you that. If I drop that. When you come up to something, you can in fact, let's drop it. What did? Right, I've dropped that on the floor. So when you come up to an item, if you just press and hold, you can equip it. Okay, so we're in the top 12. <laughs> okay. That was a helicopter coming down. Definitely some firefighting going on over there. And over there. So this is a bit of a tricky situation now. Because I'll have people all around me running into the circle. Because undoubtedly the circle will move away from me. But let's see. Let's see how we get on. At this point as well, it would be a good idea to uh, pop um, anything. So what we've got iron lungs, consumer, iron lungs and paranoia. So paranoia might be quite good. Because that's going to give us a warning, isn't it? 
and consumer uh, is a good one, so I can pop two at once. Uh, other little things. Expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. So top right uh, shoulder button that throws your um, uh, Molotov or whatever, and if you go to the quick menu, you can equip different things. So I don't know, let's equip a frag, shall we? So that's no one there. Now we've got to be careful here. Supply drop inbound. Because we know there's people on either side of us. Okay, we're in the top ten. It's any man for himself now. Let's just see what happens. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Thank God you're there. hidden from that side. I know there's a guy right there. Come out at any time. Not much cover that way. Ooh. They shot off all my armour. See, without armour, you've, you've, <laughs> you're pretty knackered. Because you see how many bullets I put into that guy, I put loads in, and he got hit by one grenade as well. But anyway, that's my quick start beginner's guide to um, Call of Duty 4's Blackout Game Mode. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any more questions or comments, put them down below. If there's specific things you'd like me to look at, then ask a question, and I'll do a video specifically about that. Anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll uh, see you again soon.